Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing a film that I got in from Reality Entertainment. It is a docudrama type film, Aleister Crowley, or Aleister Crowley, Legend of the Beast. And uh, this is the little insert I got here, and it's the middle film there. Um, it's, yeah, I say docudrama because it's like a documentary slash drama regular film. Um, you know, and for those of you not familiar with uh, Aleister Crowley, um, you know, and I, I don't know a lot about his life. I've just always heard little things here about how, you know, he was, he's one of the, the, uh, the, the, the grandfathers or forefathers of mysticism. And, you know, he really explored magic and black magic and, uh, Satanism and just all forms of mystical beliefs and religions and philosophies. And uh, he was a poet, a mountain climber. I mean, he was just somebody who was very free spirited, um, I guess would be a good way to describe him. There's a lot of misconceptions about him out there uh, that, you know, that I've, like I said, just a little bit I know about him, you know. Um, but yeah, the, the, this movie, this docudrama, uh, it, it starts off showing Crowley in a bed. He is um, bedridden. He's out on his deathbed, actually. And um, I want to say it's like a, it's a convalescing nurse that's with him there talking to him at his bed. And uh, he's basically the film is just taking you through his life. Um, it, it goes back, you know, he, he goes all the way back to the beginning of how he started to get into this type of stuff and uh, shows him, he, he shows him and he talks about, you know, studying philosophy and just pouring over volume after volume on religion, beliefs, philosophy, all different kinds of stuff. And uh, then his, his studies take him to Sweden where he is continually seeking answers in life. And while he is there, I think it's while he's there, maybe it's not. Um, but anyway, soon thereafter he joins this, uh, this magic cult um, type sect, like a magic sect of people. And um, he's initiated into the group. He starts experimenting with drugs. Uh, there, there's, he's talking to this guy, and this guy's talking about how, you know, the drugs will take him to this higher plateau, this other dimension, other existence. And uh, you know, around this time is where Crowley starts to want to go dive deeper into black magic. And some of the people within his magic sect they try to discourage him from doing that, but he won't be swayed. He, you know, he says he wants to experience all facets of the uh, magic, you know, both white and black magic. Um, he thinks you can learn from all sides of it. And, uh, you know, he wants to understand both sides. And from there, this causes a rift within his, his magic sect. And they end up splitting off, and um, uh, and then you know he just he, this takes him from there all over the world on a spiritual quest. It shows him rock climbing, mountain climbing. Shows him walking through the desert barefoot. It shows him just doing all this stuff, just seeking answers. Um, and that's really what the film is. You know, you just you're going through his life. You see everything that he did and what he experienced. Um, you know, as he did all this stuff, you know, there's even some, he, he even talks one part where he, he started to realize that, um, there's a lot of magic in sex, like sexual spiritualism and stuff. And there's one part that was, it's kind of odd. Um, but I mean, I guess, you know, it's something he did. It was like a, a ritualistic sex act with this girl, this girl's riding him and he, they're, they're doing like this ritualistic prayer type thing as they're having sex. It just, <laughs> Um, yeah, very, you know, a few nudity scenes in this, um, that part, you know, too. And then, you know, after all this, it, it, he goes into like where he was getting into poetry and being a poet, um, just a very multifaceted guy, very, uh, I would say interesting guy because he just, he never, he never settled for the status quo. He never just felt like, you know, this is how you should be, you know, and you should just go through life 
you know, living how you're told and, 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 and living, you know, off of this system, you know, or this certain way of being. Like, he, he, he sought more answers. He, you know, he was always seeking and always wanted to learn more. And I can kind of relate to that in a lot of ways, too, you know, as far as, like, always seeking more answers. And, uh, you know, like a lot of the questions that he, he has about religion and about things like that are a lot of the things that, you know, I, I can relate to that. Um, you know, now as far as going into the black magic and all that, you know, I, I think some of the stuff is, is, he probably took some of it just a little bit too far, but that's just my way of thinking, you know, but I don't know, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the guy, just little things I've heard here, there, just very little bit I've read about him and in this documentary. Um, but I would be interested in hearing, reading more about him. I know there is a, uh, um, a biography on his life coming out in May. I was just looking up books just to see what there was, and I saw there's one that you can pre-order now. It's coming out May 14th. It's a biography on his life. So that might be something worth checking out. I mean, you know, whether you agree with him or not, you know, and on everything he did, uh, you know, I just he, he just seems like a very interesting guy. He'd be somebody that I would like to learn more about and, like, what made him tick and what, you know, what he learned and what he experienced. Um, but, yeah, it was uh, – this was a pretty good documentary. Like I said, it's all – it's it's made like a movie, you know. It's showing him in his bed. He talks about. Then it goes to a flashback, and there's another character playing him, the younger version of him. And you just go through this, you know, over and over. It'll flash back to uh, current time. He'll talk about what you just saw with this woman, and, and then it'll go into something else, and it'll flash back, and it'll show his younger self and going through the stuff. And that's how the whole movie is. It's about. It runs right at 90 minutes long. Um, but yeah, it was good. I mean, it wasn't like a great documentary. I mean, it was put together good and everything. It just, I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't have a real strong kick to it. If you know what I mean? Like it just was mix, missing that extra oomph to give it like, you know, a, a, a great aspect to it, but still it was good enough and it's worth checking out, especially if you, you know, if you're somebody like me who doesn't really know anything about, uh, Crowley and you wanted you want you wanted to see a little bit more about him. Um, it's one to check out, uh, and I'm trying to see. I think this is already out. I believe it is already released. I don't have a release date here. Uh, it says 80 minutes on here, but it's actually it was 90. Uh, it's listed under drama, suspense, paranormal, occult. Um, yeah. But they also should say documentary because <laughs> it was like a docudrama type thing. But yeah, you can you can check it out now from Reality Entertainment right there in the middle. I still have these two to review too, but that is it right there, and that's an actual picture of Crowley. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna give this film a six out of ten. Um, and yeah, check it out now, guys. Hope you all like this review. Hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon later.